Good afternoon, and welcome to another edition of the Sandhill Cranes of the Lake House. Gail Howarth and Billy here today uh, for this episode. Um, I'm not sure how long Billy will stay. Um, Rosebud is out on the nest, and she's been calling for him to come back. Not really fair today, because she's been up here most of the day, which means he's done his time. Now, he's a great, great bird for taking his turn. Some of the males are not known for taking their share of time sitting on that nest. Bud was terrible at it. He would uh, wait and wait and wait. Lydia would call and call and call, and he just wouldn't come. Uh, but Billy is a very, very different bird. So, uh, because the babies are going to be here within two weeks, we have to start thinking about the names. What are we going to name the colts this year? Uh, this was traditionally always my job. I wasn't willing to share, but then a little nine-year-old girl came into my life named Matilda. And uh, I had names picked out for the cranes. We had another high water year, and I was going to name them Noah and Jonah. But... The nine-year-old girl named them Lemon Meringue and Olivia. Now, those names were even longer than that, but I won't tell you their whole names. And then the next year, she named them, well, she was going to name them April and May. We only had one, so she became April May. But other birds were named as related to the weather. We had Stormy and Weather one year, Dory and Nemo because the water was high, and then, of course, Billy was originally Crystal, and his uh, brother was uh, Jack Frost. Other years, it was related to um, uh, just a characteristic of the bird. One of the most memorable was a bird named Trip. He tripped over everything, the most least graceful bird of all of them I've seen. And his brother was May Day. Uh, May Day because they were born on uh, May 1st. Now, I did have one colt out of all of them that I've had over the years that did not like me. And I actually named her Jut after my mother because it was Mother's Day when she was born. But that was the only bird that would run away from me, just run, run, run. And um, so that was a little sad for me that year. Um, other names have been um, just happenstance, rusty and red for the color of their feathers. Um, spur, because I had a bone spur removed, and then I thought of the moment, so spur and moment. And so you can kind of get the picture. So I'm asking for your help in naming the colts this year. If you have any good ideas for names, just leave them in the comments uh, below the video. And um, I'm excited to see what you have to say uh, or suggest. So if you're liking the Sandhill Cranes of the Lake House, please remember to hit the like button, uh, subscribe, and share it with your friends. I'd also like to dedicate this uh, episode to the memory of Helen Veenstra, who passed away earlier this week, 96 years old. She blessed everyone in our neighborhood growing up with so much love and blondies. She made the best blondies in the entire world. So um, thank you, Helen, for everything you did for us.